welcome to another tutorial of the Nanopto Group Attic Map. This will be the third tutorial and I think the last one. I'm going to show you how to introduce custom functions in Fitic. For that I just created uh, some linear data and my goal here will be to create a linear function able to fit this. Of course Fitic already counts with a linear function and we can uh, actually use it very easily by clicking and dragging and then it will fit this is uh, the result but uh, here I'm going to introduce another one and try to fit this data so in order to do so we have to go to functions definition manager and we, we can take a look at how functions are defined so if uh, for instance I want to introduce a new function I just ha have to click add and you see that I have brackets equal so what does it mean if we go for example to the linear function we have the name before the brackets and it's important to have the first letter uh, capital always all of them have the first uh, capital letter then in the brackets uh, we will write the variables that we are going to use and then here is the function okay so fitic uses some variables in their functions that it understands let's say especially for example intercept and slope the fact that we are using here this in well the program is using here intercept and slope is what allows us to actually play with with it when we are going to to use it if we go to another function like for example the exponential decay we see that it is not using any variable any name it just gives some values uh, if you are using defining a variable here that is not recognized by fitic you have to give it initial values so in this case uh, the initial value would, for a would be zero the, and the initial value for t would be one then here is the exponential decay function. So imagine that we are going to use this one, the exponential decay. When we play it, this actually doesn't mean a thing, this linear thing, because it will always draw it with the initial values 0 and 1. And we cannot click it and click it and drag or change it manually because we are not using the defined variables by fitic so we have to change it manually here for example by reading here uh, the values okay so now let's go to let's go to to create our function so we go to definition manager now an error appear but I am going to omit it so definition manager add and I'm going to write it so I'm going to call it line and I'm going to define m and n as variables of course I have to give them initial values so I'm going to write here 0 and n is going to be 1 and then I write the function. So I can write it in this. This is the uh, a linear function n plus n times x. And I can click OK. So I, I just created this function. I cannot paste it but remember that this is not going to work because I just I, I am using I am defining m and n and giving it initial values so it will always create uh, the values with m0 and 1 which I, I already wrote it but if for example I, I do it like this still the same so don't worry and now we can click fit and as you can see these are the same results that we obtain with the function that is included in Fitic. 
I'm going to show you again. The one which is included in FITIC, of course, we can move it around and, and change it because it is using the intercept and slope. Okay, so for the function, the Gaussian Lorentzian cross product that I used in the previous videos is this one. This is the name I gave it, Gauss Lorentzian cross. And you can see that I use uh, variables already present in FITIC center, height, and half width, half maximum, so I don't have to give them initial values. But I am using also shape, which is not understood by FITIC, so I have to give initial values. I give an initial value of 0 0.5. Okay, this uh, bracket here uh, determines the range in which the shape can uh, have values, so it can uh, vary between 0 and 1. But this is not working very well in this version. Actually, if you try to create this uh, function, just paste this in the definition, it will crash the program. So you have to remove this. I included this function using the command line. And I'm going to tell you now how I did it. I will also copy and paste this function in the, in the description of the video in YouTube so you can uh, readily create it. One thing that you need to know is that when you create functions in FITIC, they don't get saved in the program for the future. So you actually, what need to do is define your functions and then save a session, an empty session. For example, here I create the line. So if I want, that function, of course, to be present the next times that I open FITIC. What I do is just, I remove everything, all the functions, everything. I have the program clean. So now I save this session and I save it in the desktop. I substitute the FITIC shortcut with this session. So I, when I start working, I always open this session. Okay, so imagine that I want to use the command bar define a function so I just I just have to to write the command define and then paste the function I'm going to call it uh, line fit so we can check that I actually created a new function So I, I already defined it and now it's here, it's line fit. And we can check that it's the same. So how did I do for creating the Gaussian Lorentz cross product with this bracket? I just wrote define and then paste all of this there. And there you go. Well, that's all. Now you know how to introduce uh, your custom functions in FITIC. So thank you for watching this video and goodbye.